be using the Cosmo Cricut Odds and Ends collection kit and some photos of my family from an alligator farm to make a 12 by 12 layout with four photos. So I've cut all my papers per my sketch and I'm getting ready to start adhering them down and I'm going to start with this blue solid cardstock that came in the Cosmo Cricut collection kit. They're starting to include solids that match their patterned papers now, which makes it really easy to create layouts. And I'm gonna adhere that down to a piece of uh, dark brown cardstock. And now I'm gonna start building my layout with my patterned papers. And so what I've done is I've taken um, an 11 by 11 piece of the blue and adhered it to a 12 by 12 piece of the brown and now all the rest of the papers are going to kind of fill in from there. So here's my first photo and it's a 4 by 6 photo and because so many of these papers had a creamy vanilla element to them I didn't use white around the edges on these photos. I didn't want the white to contrast with the look and feel of the papers and I'm just adding this little scrap of paper here and I just want to make sure it's going to fit under that little photo there on the end. And that sign uh, reads caution alligator in area and there were quite a few alligators in the area. Uh, we were in the Everglades and that's Alligator Central down here. And here's a photo of my mom holding a baby alligator and all of us lined up about to go on an airboat ride. And that's my brother and my husband um, waiting by the sign for frog legs. <laughs> and I took this strip of paper from the collection. Um, it's just cut right from the collection. And I'm putting it between the two rows of photos to kind of mask all the areas where they join to make it look clean and finished. And then I let it extend all the way to the edges of the brown cardstock where I pierced a hole on either side to add a little yellow button brad. So now I'm going to continue with my layering and I'm adding a piece of loose leaf looking paper from the Basic Gray Basics collection in Manila. I really like the Basics uh, collection by Basic Gray if you're inter if you like grid papers and notebook papers and graph papers. It's a really good collection. It comes in white, manila, and craft. And then I've taken another little strip of paper that I just cut from the collection. And again, I'm adhering it down so that it covers the seam between the notebook paper and the photos. And then I added a little border strip to the top as well. And now I'm piercing a hole on either side of the border strip. And I'm going to thread some string, some hemp string, through the holes. And then I'm just going to tape it on the back with some um, Scotch clear scrapbooking tape. Scotch does make a tape just like Scotch tape that's acid free. They call it scrapbooking tape if you're concerned about acid on your projects. And then I um, threaded it through to the other side as well. And now I'm going to cut that other end and I'm going to tape it down. And that will make it look like the string kind of wraps around the piece. Like I wrapped the string around the piece before I glued it down, but it will lay more flat in the book. And now I'm taking some Beacon 3-in-1 adhesive and I'm going to use that to adhere a bow I tied with my bow easy to the string. And I'm just going to use my Sakura Pigra Pigma Micron to do my journaling. And I'm just going to journal directly on the layout onto the ledger 
or notebook paper rather. And I am using a Jelly Bean Soup journaling sprout to uh, pop my title, which is Gator Bait, up off that pattern paper. And then I just poked a hole and I'm adding a brad just to make that area a little more interesting, give it a little more embellishment. And I'm getting ready to start on my other embellishments for the page, which are going to be three rosettes. And I have cut paper to, I believe, one and a quarter inch or uh, 12 by one and a half inch, one by 12 inch, and then I think three quarters or a half an inch by 12 inch. <coughs> excuse me, and I'm scoring all these strips of paper at a quarter inch. And I'm using an embossing stylus. I prefer to use an embossing stylus uh, to do my scoring on the Martha Stewart scoreboard. It just um, creases the paper more nicely than the bone folder that came with it and there's less tearing. And the pieces range in size from one inch to one and a half inches. So they're 12 inches by one inch, 12 inches by one and a quarter inch, and 12 inches by one and a half inch, all scored at every quarter inch. And now I'm just accordion pleating the flowers and going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And there's uh, several different ways that you can adhere these flowers to each other. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I turn the flower inside out and I'm gonna use the tiny attacher to staple the two ends together. You can see how I've put those ends there. And I'm just gonna get right up to the crease line, not go over or on the crease line, but right up to it. And I'm just gonna put a few staples and that's gonna hold it together. And that's kind of a lazy way of doing it, but it's, um, it's quick and it's easy. So now I'm just shaping my flowers. You can see how that blue um, and cream patterned floral just looks really cool as a rosette. So I've turned them upside down So, and I'm using uh, Apple Pie Memories acrylic block to hold it kind of in place. And what I'm doing is I'm putting hot glue on a piece of chipboard and then I'm gonna quickly move the journaling block off add the hot glue chipboard piece and then put the journaling block right back on again and hold it until the glue is, is cooled. And that is what I'm left with. Really pretty, pretty flower. So I repeated that whole process on the other two flowers and now I'm just arranging them, moving them around to see where I want them. And to dress them up a little bit more, I'm gonna add punched circles that I have taken from the other pattern papers in the collection. And that's going to add more color and also give them more stability. Rosettes do kind of need something on either side. So um, after I finish gluing them down, which is what I'm doing here, I'm gonna be adding those pieces. So you can see the pieces that I punched from the collection with some circle punches and some scallop punches. And I'm actually gonna use the hot glue to adhere them to the tops of the flowers to sandwich the rosette in between. And then this layer just needs regular adhesive because it's only, it's not structural, it's just decorative. And then again, going back with the hot glue and adhering it, the punched circle to the top of the rosettes. And that's what I'm doing off camera is I'm just putting hot glue on the back of the circles and adhering everything down and making sure it's stuck. And then that's gonna be my last element for my page and that's gonna finish off my layout. So uh, as soon as I finish this last rosette, I'm gonna turn the layout so you can see it a little bit better. And that's my gator bait layout with, um, my rosettes using the Cosmo Cricut Odds and Ends collection. Thanks for watching.